Hi, we are a family that started traveling the world in January 2022. I'm Marida, this is Dre, and our little girl, Mombi. We are leaving El Salvador to go to Miami with a long laundry list of things we have to finish, such as booking where to go next and replacing important things we lost. We are in Miami for three days and we have to find a new place to stay every single day. Come along as we try to complete our to-do list before our time is up. Off to Miami we go. I'm gonna sit down. I'll sit down, Mombi. like we really want to go on a cruise let's go with royal caribbean we've never been with them before mm -hmm. and we called them up and we waited to call here because we we're getting charged by calling internationally like with our regular phone number we had to call whatsapp for free but anyway past that we were like okay we call royal caribbean they were like at first they said no then they said yes but they were like to go on the cruise is going to be like three thousand dollars for all of us no then i said do you have a discount to anything she was like no we're not even boarding anybody no chance so we we're devastated because we plan to come to miami specifically hopefully to get on a cruise so we we're like oh my god we just gotta have to figure out and just fly out somewhere by tomorrow no the day after tomorrow no it's just tomorrow yeah so we were like oh my god we're just gonna change everything we just wanted a cruise just to have like a not plan anything for just a few days you know yeah. we just wanted just a breather from planning we, just, we like cruises and it's been a while since we took a cruise due to the since the pandemic and everything normally we try to take one at least once a year but like i said since the pandemic you know we haven't been able to you know take a cruise so yeah, we love yeah. cruises. Yes. It's only six days though, but I'll take whatever I can get. Yes. No planning sounds lovely. No. But so they said no. Stressed. Dre was like, let's call our handy dandy carnival cruise because that's who we've always rode with. We had like the best agent in the entire world yeah. because me and my people over here jumping up and down because this man <laughs> said yes and he brought it down all the way to like what like 130 a person mm -hmm. that's without the taxes and the fees mm -hmm. and we were like what and yeah we're going on a cruise we we'll carnival cruise <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow is it tomorrow no 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 <laughs> the 20 oh so we gotta book another hotel night yeah mm -hmm. on the 20th i'm excited i'm excited but now we gotta take care of some stuff we gotta handle before we leave on the cruise because when we come back on the cruise we jetting off okay um Pretty much our time in Miami is to get things done. So, at first we thought, cause we said we we're gonna get on a cruise. We thought we were gonna arrive at the cruise. We were gonna board the cruise on the 19th. But because that didn't work out, we have to now find, stay here an extra day. So we need to find another hotel. Granted, we've been lucky. These two days that we've been here in Miami, we haven't paid for any hotel room. Fantastic. But now I want to see if we can do that for one more night so we don't have to pay to stay out here. Because these hotels are ridiculously expensive. Ridiculous. So let's cross our fingers. But anyway, what I was trying to say is we have a long list of things we got to take care of before we board. Um, I think we have like 14 things we got to take care of. And one of them is where we're going to go when we leave. Well, booking where we're gonna go whenever we get off the ship and so many others so it's pretty much a hardcore <laughs> work day you could say they said they don't do no covid tests over here and that's free they charge you 65 dollars for rapid and 95 for uh, the nasal swab. 
calling to go to another spot here. It's a nice park though. We had 18 things we had to do while we were here. We've got, we've knocked, we've, we only have eight remaining because we've knocked out 10. But the phone that was cracked, I thought it was going to be free to fix. It wasn't. So we're not fixing it. I don't know. I just feel like we're running out of time. And we still got a lot of things to take care of. And we still haven't booked where we're going to go after the cruise. Which is like one of like the biggest stressors right now. We'll figure it out a lot of things have been going pretty well so i'm not gonna be too down about it so still hopeful we're gonna complete the rest of our to-do list so whenever we get on this boat we have nothing else to worry about so we can actually not be stressed out about unfinished business all right see you later oh and we gotta move hotels again so that's fun oh but it's gonna be a nice one though off to the third and last hotel in Miami. We had a good idea. We just thought of the idea now. We, Because we've been to three separate ones, we should have done a video for it. But we're those people who think about ideas after the fact. I know it happens to you too. All right. We came to Miami for a very specific reason and we had a long list of tasks we had to do and we pretty much accomplished as much as we could at least the necessities were accomplished granted the results for some of them were not the best but we got the main parts done anyways we're about to go board our cruise have a little time of relaxation well granted we're still working but a little bit of relaxation you know at least enjoy the moments mm -hmm. and we also booked a flight the second we get off that cruise ship we're going somewhere else i mean it's gonna be hectic because we have to run and get a covid test and try to be at the airport before we get left and it's gonna be a little hectic but at least it's paid for and we know where we're going and how can i even say it I guess we're going to a hundred percent new continent. No, no, no. Exciting, <laughs> exciting. We stayed up. I stayed up all night just trying to get things done. I stayed up pretty late. And too. he stayed up so late. He did like what, three, three videos and a half in like two days. Like we were grinding out here. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a productive time in Miami. Yeah. Oh, we did Productive and fun. We did go to the beach and we had a little fun out there. Mommy, where's the sand? Oh. And, um, yeah, it was pretty, pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Yeah. I, I, we had said earlier, because in the process, we were hopping hotel to hotel. Granted, we were using points, so we don't get hit because spring break time in miami beach pricey yeah. so we points are good friends so we didn't have to get hit in the pocket you know too hard <laughs> but anyway we, we, we should have done a video going all three but yeah. we, we, we really should have we should have did a whole little video of, of uh, hotel hopping because that's what we did we hopped from hotel to hotel but it was you know it was a little bit chaotic but it was also fun to kind of be able to experience the different locations mm -hmm. and you know and and yeah yeah so it was it was it was pretty cool i'm glad we actually did it this way i, I am it too actually, it was pretty cool it was a little hectic but it was cool you it, know right i enjoyed yeah. it i mean yeah. i think the uber rides those were killer yeah oh uh, regarding the whole cruise thing because you had to check in and all that we were having issues it didn't even go through checking until like right this very moment like crazy well, i mean it wasn't the check-in process. What we were trying to do is we were trying to set up Verify because they have this new app going around where you can pretty much upload all your COVID documents and everything. And it just makes it a little bit more convenient for you to, you know, show it that way as opposed to pulling out and going through your, pulling out your vaccination card, going through your phone, looking for your, you know, your COVID tests and et cetera. So with the Verify app, all you have to do is just 
upload all your documents there take your take, take a selfie of yourself and um whenever you make it to where you make it at that accepts verify then you just show them back it just makes your it just makes your travel a little bit more easier and faster you know so and the thing is with verify is um you can use it for flights too well not not to go everywhere because everybody isn't quite on board yet but maybe sooner or later down the line you know it'll be more companies on board with verify and making it more convenient for people with all this COVID stuff so yeah i'm just glad things are done and we better get out we love cruises <laughs> <laughs> that looks like edit movies for his time yeah let me see her See your show right there. Hi. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, it's almost that time for us to head on to the cruise terminal. So we actually have an hour left before, you know, we need to get up over there. So. All right. I'm closing out. See you later. <laughs>